something very big in this box to review. Probably the biggest box of detergent I can find. Let's see how what it is and how it performs. And you're watching Florence Ballet 3060 on film. This is uh, our product for today that we're going to be reviewing. Uh, it's probably the biggest detergent that I can buy and for such a good price too. It's so heavy my own mum couldn't even lift this over the doorstep when it arrived. Say this way up, did it? This is probably so heavy. If I put it, I probably wouldn't even be able to store this on top of one of my washing machines. Jesus. Freaking massive! This is Kirkland Laundry detergent, heavy duty. This, if you can, I don't know if you can see that number here. I'll zoom it down. Does a whopping 400 washes. Um, this is normally found in place wholesale places like Costco and Macro. Um, and this is recommended to me by, well I've used this detergent previously, not in my collection, but in someone else's house. Um, you should use the Service Quartz, who was known as Service Gem, uh, Clarkey. He uses this up in Scotland, and Kirkland also do uh, various other things. They also do water as well. Um, they do various, all sorts of other kind of um, stuff in their range. But this, is, uh, this was brought on Amazon for only about £28.70. And I used it with a voucher that I had. So really for £28 you're getting an absolute bargain here. Um, I mean obviously the, the, the dosing depends on how much you're using in each wash. That's why it has the asterisk there. But um, this stuff, it's, it's like commercial scent to it. So it's laundry detergent but it also can do surface cleaning, stain pre-treat and oil cleanup. You can use it as a degreaser. So it doesn't just have to be uh, washing powder. 12.7 kilogram assist so bloody hell. You know, if you've uh, been stuck in lockdown and you can't go to the gym, just buy a thing of this and you could do some weightlifting with it. So we're going to have a look at it and then we're going to put it to the test in the mealer. And then I'll sooner or later find out how it works in some of our vintage ones. So I'm going to open the lid. Um, so, okay, our famous pull. If you don't have a, a cardboard bit, this is actual plastic. It's so big it will not go in my car, but I'll have to keep it outside. That took a lot of force to do that. Probably hear the tripod shaking there. Look, that's all over my shirt as well. Right, this is up and get a, get a, an introduction to what its fragrance is like. Not would you not want to drop this on yourself? Now they drop it all over the floor. But I can, oh, I can already smell it. That's really. Oh wow, <coughs> it's a bit strong there, it is super concentrated, there you go, so it comes like that, and I think, it, oh okay, so you pop that into sort of like a hinge lid, there you go, so like a hinge lid you use that as, and look at that, it comes with a scoop, something you don't find in detergents of today, quite a decent scoop, a bit like the American ones you get, um, that's there, 
is a full, roughly about a full scoop. <coughs> it's quite strong though, but it's not, that must be because my nose is very sensitive. I'm trying to think what that smells like. No, I'm not going to eat it. It's got like a lemony kind of smell, like a citrus kind of smell. Um, but it doesn't say anything that it's... It's Kirkland's signature, but it doesn't say anything about its fragrance. Then you just got it in different languages here. Let's have a look at the back, what it says on the back. We can get any information out of this. Launch detergent, full scoop the line. No, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything. I just think it's it smells very commercial, though. Is I can say it's kind of like what you... It's kind of like what you'd smell in a self-service laundry, or like when you go into an American laundromat. It's got the all, it's got <coughs> it's got the auto dispensing machine. So I breathed in a bit by accident. Obviously, don't go inhaling it. Is what I'd say not to do. But no, this will last me a very long time. This will be my daily powder, um, along with the as the one that I use. Which I sadly didn't do a review of. Anyway. Not rambling, let's put this to the test. So I've got a load here to do in the Mila. Got some darks. A regular load. So I'm going to put in all the other bits first. But we're not just doing any regular load. This pile I've got on the floor here. This is all heavily soiled um clothes that we have we have messed up on purpose so I don't think I'm actually this messy just for this load. I've got a sock here with some lovely sticky golden syrup on. This has been used to rub in the stain so it has got some like sauce on it here. These pajamas went outside in the mud as you can see very grubby uh, just a uh, regular sock this hoodie has got um, Worcestershire sauce on. Um, these have gotten, what have these gotten on them? I don't think these have gotten anything, no, I don't think they have. And this has got bolognese sauce on. It's my dinner for tonight as well. I'm gonna put that to the test and see what we get. Bit of thread in the door sill there. So unlike regular detergents, this has got a slightly different dosing system. Uh, it goes by the lines on the it goes by the lines on the scoop. So line two for regular line one for let's see lines. Yeah, line one for regular soil. So A one line two for heavy uh, for uh, regular soil. And three, four, heavy soil. Four, I don't know what that's, but you wouldn't be using that. So we're going to use it at line three because heavy soil. So I'm try and shake that off. Shake it out, I mean. Very grainy it is compared to other powders as well. It's got a very much more grainier feel. Yeah, that, I'm satisfied with that. <coughs> I'm going to go and then I'm going to put my regular conditioner in and lime scale tablet and then we'll go through with that. So a good cycle to test on would be cotton 60, regular cotton 60 cycle. I use my water plus. Um, don't need any other options so we'll go. So we're about, we're about 10 minutes into heating. Usually when the detergent will be uh, almost its most active and we're into the fast uh, sort of distribution uh, wash tumbles. I have to say I've noticed pretty much no suds at the moment from this thing really. So this is how it works in a coal fill machine but we're going to sort of test it in a, a hot and cold fill machine which uses a lot more water on the washer. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Because the thing of it going from stone cold all the way through to hot, uh, I believe to many it sort of treats the stains differently. So it'll be interesting to see how it works in a machine that works the total opposite way. In 
then we'll compare we'll compare through the rinse cycles. So no suds or anything on the spin which is good. So it's the first rinse after the spin. And already the water's pretty clear. It's quite good for this detergent. Um, I've not known many detergents to actually be that clear after the first rinse. Well, on the first rinse. I'll do a comparison on the next rinse then and see how that is. Bit of unbalanced as expected, but yeah, we've done so far so good clearing out all the suds. Right, final rinse. <coughs> Machine uses slightly less water on this so we don't dilute the fabric machine too much. We're using some very nice eco over here. We've come to the end of it soon. It's honestly been one of the best uh, conditions I've ever used. My, when I do my next top up and bind some, <coughs> Might also buy some e detergent to review. But I'm very excited to see what the results of this are going to be. And especially you can see if the uh, scent has lasted as well. Have a look, shall we? Let's see what's happened. Okay, so, yes, a washing machine, drum machine I've got. So I know that wasn't affected. This one was, though. The red one. So I can run it under the light and check. Um, no, there's nothing there. Hoodie's come off. This one was this was the one it was on the most. Um, I can't see anything visible on there. Bearing in mind, I don't think this actually reached 60 because the machine took it down to 58 minutes, which meant the machine only had about 20 minutes to heat. So I think we only reached about 50. So we've actually heated to a yeah. That one is actually clean if you see so for yourself. Um, let's run it all around here. No, that wasn't there actually, it was on the back. Um, what else did we... 
I took my pajama bottoms on, I did, didn't I? Where are they? These ones. These were the mud. The mud ones. Mud normally washes out quite easily compared to food stains, because all the other stuff I used were oil based. Again, running it round the ring at the top, the waistline. No, there is not a trace or even a feel of mud on there at all. Um, that was it, I think, actually. For the, yeah. Now, let's get some fragrance off this and see how that smells. Okay, so there's the smell of the Ecova. But there's actually a very nice, it's a very calming smell actually. It's not actually very strong and in your face. That is actually a very, I don't know what we could, what you sort of say for it. But it's a very mellow, sort of calm fragrance. It's not anything too much. Um, it'll be very good to feel how these come out when they're in the dryer. I might do some other little things of what we can use this detergent for as well as washing. So I'll get this in the dryer and in the meantime we'll uh, film some other things. So the load is just finished in the dryer. Let's see how we did. So everything's come out really soft as well. Dry up all that. And see if we still have the smell on this after um, it's come out. Because sometimes a lot of detergents tend to fade in the dryer. And that's actually left a very pleasant smell behind that. It's a very clean smell, but not anything too too strong. So going by Google, this is where you can buy the Kirkland 400 washes detergent from. So you can see it's available here, fishpond.co.uk, £136 for the large tub. Go on to eBay, it's £28.90, which is what I also paid on Amazon for it. That's the super con concentrated one. It's mainly found on eBay. They also do laundry capsules there. 120 pack. You can find all different ones if you look through. Ooh, Tide, oh, I'd love to get some of that one to do a review on. I go back. Here is it on Costco's website. So Costco. Look at the ratings, 4.8 out of 5. That's a very high rating for this for this powder. Closer look, there's the information on there. You can pause if you need to or look at that. Had to restrict the maximum purchase on this item. So yes, there's a lot of high demand. I would say get that for when you can. Because uh, Costco is very busy during this during this period. Some other things you can buy as well. However, you do need a business card or a Costco card to be able to get into Costco to buy it. I've bought it off Amazon for the same price of £28.90. It's £16.78 in Costco. However, you must be able to buy from Costco, and this is where I bought it from. See, purchase on 13th February 2021, and I will be leaving a review on this. 210 reviews, and it's got 4.5 stars out of five. £28.20 20 is what I paid for, actually. Oh, it's a bit cheaper now. Lower price from other sellers, potentially without free Prime pins, as you have Prime shipping. That's it. That's where you buy it from, as you can see, Kirkland. It does also double up for um, other purposes as well. Um, fortunately, I've just mopped my floor, so I won't be able to do that. But you know what, in this video, but I will actually be doing a video to uh, demonstrate what its other uses, so we can also do that as an add-on review. Um, I will now draw a conclusion on this powder and what I personally think of it. So here's another load I did with the Kirkland. Uh, after three loads of washing being done by Kirkland, 
I'm going to give the final conclusion on this powder. I'm absolutely impressed by it. Uh, more impressed, in fact, than any of the other detergents I've, I've brought. The scent is great. It's not overpowering, but it does stay in the fabric. The rinsing performance on all three loads proved exactly the same, and this is with, with different amounts. We used more on uh, the load of darks that I did uh, as well. I've also done my work clothes and whatnot with it. I've also used it in my vintage uh, Hoover A3060 washing machine. And I'm just amazed at how the rinsing on it has just proved so good. Um, the rinsing on it just shows great performance. Within By the second rinse, it, it, it's basically cleared. And you find that a lot of detergents that aren't well known, they will tend to foam up a lot more and they stick to clothes a lot more. I've had bad experience with other, other detergents, uh, one of which actually ruined my clothes because it was that sudsy and it wouldn't rinse out very well. But overall, I'm impressed by it. So I definitely recommend to check out the sites where you can get it from. Amazon is your best bet, but you can also buy it from Costco if you have a Costco card. They also do liquid detergents as well as other brand, uh, branded stuff under the Kirtland brand in Costco and online. Please check that out. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I hope this helps. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed this. And I shall see you in one of the next reviews in the next video as I do. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.